do whenever the stream starts it's like fix the hair i should have do i should do this first but uh uh it's, it's it looks like my hair's receding but you know as we all know it's not uh <laughs> definitely not hello how's it going it's a bit is the camera a little low or is it just me oh okay right, there we go hi yes i am fully vaccinated uh i had to rock up to my vaccination station um at about 20 past eight i was five minutes late but that didn't seem to be a problem at all um it was a very smooth and quick process like uh first time i did it there was like a bigger queue and uh hey our Kamina just subbed thank you for the sub um uh <laughs> but uh yeah there was a big queue and um then i uh you know you know you know yeah you know so, uh, and then like uh there was a way to you know get vaccinated well there was a basically a way to get in then a way to be so like signed in and then a wait to be uh in the queue to be vaccinated and then afterwards you have to wait after you've been vaccinated which was the same this time around uh except the whole earlier process was super smooth like i kind of effectively strolled in and well, you know, after a 15 minute wait, strolled out again. So, yeah, very, very smooth. You know, I left the house at 8. I was back home by 10. So, you know, all in all, pretty, pretty efficient. Pretty, very good. So, so far, so good in terms of side effects. Um, uh, I, I had the Pfizer. Um, and from all accounts, the second one is meant to be the kicker. The first one was fine. When I had the first one, I was almost convinced i wasn't vaccinated because i felt nothing right like i i what i didn't even feel the injection um i felt absolutely nothing i was like did they even do it did they like did they miss or something but then like uh no then um uh you know then like for a few days it felt like a punch in the arm you know like someone punched me in the arm it was a bit of a bruise and then that was it that was basically it this one i felt it it felt it hurt and it hurts now it's 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 immediately up to punch in the arm stage um but as for like other subsequent side effects you know feeling basically like shit uh hasn't kicked in yet but we shall see maybe it'll happen now while i'm on stream wouldn't that be wild wouldn't that be a wild time seeing me feel like shit live online that would be what a time anyway <laughs> So what are we doing? <clears throat> We're going to do some research. Um, so I have, in the next couple of weeks, two videos coming out. I have one coming out. I have one coming out the last week of July. And I have one coming out the first week of August. I'm fucking crazy. So uh, the first video is like well in production. You know, I'm expecting um, the edit, you know, first pass edit to be shortly. Uh, so I'll be able to review that and you know, so that's kind of comfy production But the second video I'm still currently scripted. So that's the research phase we're into right now uh, This is there's a mild hint in the uh, title. I am fully vaccinated and fully intoxicated That's not intoxicated as in drunk, but we're gonna look at Toxic fandoms, you know that real fun stuff <laughs> You know, fans who claim ownership over properties and uh, 
generally are awful people, mainly to women. Uh, yeah. Fun! It's a fun topic. <laughs> and Britney Spears toxic. You're right, Emil. And, and, and Pink, Pink Takumi, you know, you know what I mean. You, you're a big fan of that Britney Spears toxic, aren't you? Um, don't, don't lie to us. Don't lie to us. You know it. We all know it. It's like, it's not, the, okay. It is the best Britney song, but it's not my favorite Britney song. My favorite Britney song is Stronger. There's no revel revelatory notion there. I just like that one. That's the one I like out of all of them. Anyway. Um, and Rick and Morty source toxic? Ah. Oh, yes. Rick and Morty fandom. That could be something we could dabble into. Nick bids do be entitled Asperger's. You're quite right. <laughs> but like, I mean, what constitutes a neck beard? Like, I mean, I have a beard that's on my neck. Is it? Is it just like, because like I, I keep, I tried to keep that part trim, the under neck. So I guess it's those who don't, like, who allow it to get, like, wispy and stuff, I guess. Is that a neck beard? I'm not... Or is it those who are, like, like they don't have a neck. Like, their, their shoulders are higher up, so you don't even see the neck. It just goes from beard to chest, basically. Um, a beard that doesn't go onto your... A beard that doesn't go onto your face. Oh, so it's like they shave their face, but they keep the beard around the oh don't like that like i mean i get i understand like chin straps or you know like a goatee or or hell even a fucking soul patch or something but like just that yeah it's like a it's like you're always wearing a scarf but it's made of your hair why why don't just shave it all who knows who knows they they probably have their reasons anyway let's look at toxic fandoms um so i'm i'm gonna start up a google doc uh let's start up uh what do i have do i have anything sensitive on stream right now i do not so i can share my screen it's a blank document it's just blank you see nothing um but we're gonna now search for actually i'm gonna pump on the let's, let's actually come back to me here i'm gonna pump on jams uh so i'm gonna have the jams about i think about this volume uh and you go ahead and tell me if that's too loud or too quiet um it's currently not even actually let me skip ahead for a second there we go now this one's actually kind of kicking off uh that seems quiet to me i'm gonna pop up a little bit more all right that's a little better yeah do tell me if that's too loud or too quiet all right so we're gonna google uh um oh god what was her name uh well i mean i mean the ob i think there's one big obvious one which i'm just gonna go ahead and uh google right now uh and that is the uh last jedi rewrite uh <laughs> so um where was that thing where there was like a whole effort to remake the last jedi uh what was it? oh god what was it it was like the the they were gonna remake it right yeah the we we have the funds like they were all boasting like they definitely had money to remake the last jedi i guess if i call it remake um remake the last Jedi. oh yeah, yeah there they are there they are let's see where they're at okay uh i uh we decide to edit out the human element from the story, but then the story no longer becomes compelling. This is why the many of us tend to point at the last Jedi as having a bad story. The characters have lost their relatability. Uh, uh, Ryan Johnson, he doesn't look happy. Wow, look at that. They got 400 million. 418 million to remake. Yeah, I bet you do. I bet you do. Our campaign is to provide Disney an opportunity to co course correct with the Star Wars franchise. The fans are completely divided and the core goal of Star Wars is abandoned. The goal is to not make one half of the fandom happy over the other. It's to make the film that the fandom in general enjoys as a whole it, as a whole enjoys. Uh, the archetypes of films are what make them great. Blah, blah, blah. Paul storytelling. 
This is amazing. Divisive and in disarray. They are really like, they're really projecting a lot of themselves. Thinking they, thinking they speak for any amount of actual people. So, all right, we've got the remake, The Last Jedi. Uh, did they, is there any other tabs to this? It is just the mission statement and the money and they still, I don't want to play the video. Do we dare play the video? Yeah, 400 million is quite impressive. Like, I feel like that's not an actual amount donated to them, though. That's just, like, a, na a number they've tapped in. Because who the fuck has 400 million to remake? The it's just, like, do anything else if you really have that money. What do you got? Oh, it's a stunt bet. They don't even throw... They don't even include the bar when Lucas is meant to throw away the script. <laughs> you fucking idiots. Backed by a producer, would it to match every dollar raised? Yeah, bull fucking shit. So it's like a Kickstarter. Get perks. Your money will be presented to Disney in a pitch for remake last year. Attempt to raise funds. Horse shit. Absolute horse shit. Shit of the fine. Ooh. Ooh. Shit of the finest horse. You're almost. Ooh. A bit revealing there. You saw, you saw my video editor in the background. Um. And phenomenal, phenomenal. Let's throw that in there. So, remake the last Jedi. That's fucking gold. Um, all right. So, yeah, remake the last Jedi. That was one, one killer one. So there was. There's other aspects. Uh, this looks like a YouTube. Group. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, it was called out by Seth Rogen, you reckon? Oh, that, that's funny. Uh, okay, so... I will head back. So, instead of a remake, so now there's, um... What's her name? The the actress who was chased out of Instagram. Tran, something, right? Kelly, Kelly Marie Tran. Um... So... Let's see. So, yeah, she, her, she had a role reduced in the follow-up film despite being a main character in the second one uh i guess it's i need a news article that covers the i mean yeah so let's let's grab this thing where her role was reduced uh instagram hey ashk uh okay so it was a bbc news deletes instagram after abuse okay um, <laughs> what we talk about when we talk about Netflix. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. Online, yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, we have an article that covers it. So, uh, Kelly Marie Tran. Kelly. Is it Kelly with an E? No. Kelly Marie Tran. Uh, delete. Instagram. Uh,. I mean, I know Instagram is like small beans at the end of the day. It's not like end of the world stuff, but obviously it's just the fucking abuse. It's just one thing after another. Uh, okay, so co-writer blames CGI for why she was barely in the film. She gets she gets racial abuse and then she's kicked out of the next film, barely over a minute. Um, Right. I mean, I still haven't seen the um, the third Star Wars sequel, and I don't really, I'm not really in a rush to, so barely in third film. That's kind of. I feel like that's a follow up, the result of uh, toxic fandoms. All right, so there's gotta be more. There's gotta be a fuck ton more of toxic fandom with Star Wars. Um. But that's the, they're the most notable examples I could think of. I mean, there is, um, there's the racial abuse that, um, uh, the actor who played Finn, I can't remember his name, uh, that he had to face. But I think that may have been a mix of, like, not just fandom, but also the people making the movies as well, since his role was reduced as well. It's tradition to play the video effects people. They, uh, I mean, so, uh, there's, a, there's a wonderful video done by, um, 
Pop like what is name? Uh, but oh, I've forgotten his name. But there is a video. There vid there's a video that exists, and it's about how VFX studios are often shut down after a movie is made. Like the guys who made like Life of Pi, who won awards, Oscars for the VFX, their studio got shut down because they they tank, they run out of money um, because movie studios there's no aftercare by movie studios you know they pump money into getting the vfx made and then because they've committed to a, a three year long project they then have nothing to do and it's at that point they run out of funds and they and they they burn out so um like the guys who make the sonic movie went bankrupt after the sonic movie and stuff despite getting you know millions to remake it and stuff yeah yeah exactly Jack and Dave. um so yeah, so the, the treatment of CGI Studios is trash. Um, Alright, so, okay, we've covered... It's got to be more of the Star Wars, surely. Star Wars is like the thing for toxic fandom. So, toxic... Uh, toxic fandom... Uh, Star Wars. Oh, Star Trek. Uh, our Star Wars fans is always, always... I mean, always toxic. I, I, okay, so it's not that I... It's not that I think Star Wars fans are like all toxic. It's just there is a lot of toxicity within Star Wars fans. I think any like largely male heavy, um, uh, male heavy fandom tends to start to claim ownership and then feel like feel like that you know uh, people are intervening on their space. You know, uh, their safe spaces. U e u e. Hi! Thank you for the follow. Uh, okay, so... Okay, we've got some neat news articles. Uh, so why why is it so hated? So... Okay. Why are these blurred? We'll never know why they are blurred. <laughs> uh, okay. It was a, it was a hit. Uh, well, okay. Where where is the toxicity? That's what I want to know. A holiday special? Nah. It's the video on toxic fandoms. No, I mean, it will dabble in toxic fandoms, but it's not. It's it's, it's going to be very broadly about toxic fandoms, but it's not going to be. Um, it's not like say crazy censorship. But it's a video about the you know the broad scope of uh, toxic fandoms. It's it's. Uh, it's about one element that has toxic fandom, and I'm citing other examples. So that's what I'm doing. Nobody hates Star Wars like Star Wars fans. Um, or Doctor Who. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's just generally the thing. I mean, there's a, a there's a line I need to grab from, I think, the Simpsons episode, where it's like, you know, he's a he's a huge he's a huge Star Wars fan, and he hates Star Wars. Um, something about Chez. Thank you for thank you for uh, something about following me. Um, so, the childlike Ewoks were controversial even then. The clearly a Ah, Jar Jar Binks! Is that toxic fandom? I don't know, they were kind of right on that one. <laughs> they were kind of right to like, I mean, fuck the Ewoks, but also fuck Jar Jar Binks. Like, I mean, I, I don't really care about Jar Jar Binks enough. I mean, I, 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 I stopped watching the first movie halfway through. I think the whole film was bad. Jar Jar Binks was just one element of it. Um, so, I don't know. I, I don't care enough to really fucking hate on Jar Jar Binks. It's, it's like easy. It's like... It's just it's like kicking a child. Like, I don't know. It's just like, there's no joy in it. Um, the abuse the actor got there. There we go. Yeah, alright. Uh... Let's have a look. Jar Jar Binks actor abuse. Uh, okay, so the actor was driven to the point of suicide after the backlash. Um, 20 years, I faced media backlash that affects my career today. This is a place that almost ended my life. It's a suck. That's not Um... So Jar Jar is by Goofy, yep, that makes sense. Um, but like, is it? I mean, I, I just need a, I just need an explicit citation that it's about 
toxic fandoms. It's like a media backlash. So that that's not necessarily the fandom, but um, I'm not ruling them out yet. Uh, will be a good story for my solo show. Uh, the actor will get yeah, his roles were reduced in the sequels. Uh, like death. Okay, there we go. So yeah, death threats from the internet. People came to me and said you destroyed my childhood. Uh, outrage the latest installment of Jedi. Plans were put for a fan funded remake. Okay, yeah, so it ties in to fandoms. And in, and yeah, Daisy Ridley obviously would have had abuse too, but like yeah, Kelly Marie Tran. Um Okay. Alright, cool. So yeah, Jar Jar Binks receiving abuse. Um Ahmed Ahmed Bess. Okay, so Ahmed Bess Jar Jar Binks. Good call, good call. But like I mean he's he, he's still around. He's okay, I think, and he's got a kid now, so like hopefully he's in a he's in a better place than he was. Jake Lloyd, Jake Lloyd, oh, oh lordy, Jake Lloyd, was it Jake Lloyd who really got the toxic abuse or was it um, Hayden Christensen, I feel like Hayden did, um, I feel like I'd be here all day if I did exclusively Star Wars toxicity, uh, let's uh, Let's let's get a little bit of variety now. So, uh, what, okay, let me just skim through the rest of the Star Wars stuff to see if there's anything else obvious. Okay, so the who shot first? I know, yeah, um, George Lucas himself would have got abused, especially after the um, the re-edits. Um, I mean, I could probably just save this up. Oh, it's a medium. Okay, it's not. It's not exciting. Uh, click here for part two. Yeah, let's hit up the Trekkies. You're right. Uh, it's gonna get ugly fast. Okay, so prequels. People versus the Lucas trailer. Oh no. Okay, no. Bad, bad time. Uh, no, no, bad. Okay, yeah, so there we go. That we, we just saw this thing about uh, Ahmed Best. So, Jake Lloyd has been treated with severe mental issues. Oh no, Jake Lloyd. Um, he's paranoid schizophrenia. Complicated by ag agnosa, agno, agnosognosia. Is that fear of crowds? An ability to perceive realities is one of the conditions. Um, and then Disney. Uh, Force Awakens. Uh, Last Jedi. The Mary Sue effect. Toxic fandom. So yeah, Kellyanne. Oh no! Oh fucking no! Oh Jesus Christ! Okay. Um. Ooh, just this. These are horror. Jeez, this is so evil. Christ, 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 Christ. Oh yeah, John Boyega. That's the. That's the one I was thinking. He wasn't happy. You see over his here. Actually, uh, yeah, I, I can't. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll copy. Yeah, I will maybe make mention John Boy. I guess, but um, I don't want to. I don't want to dwell on. Uh, well, on Star Wars too much. Okay, so um, let us move on. So, yeah, I know, right? Horrible stuff. So, um, Star Trek. Star Trek. Um, is there one particular? I mean, I know that there is generally a toxic fandom, but like, is there like one particular instance of toxic fandom permeating, you know, the cast or the crew or something? Um, I mean, it's it's not to the level of infamy as Star Wars, I don't think. So, let's see. Fuck sake, fuck off with your fucking pop ups. Uh, the difference between debate and toxicity debate is essential. Um, 
the result. Okay. Oh, it's, it's, Star, it's King Kong about Star Wars. <laughs> so in Gary's demise, a state of possessive person the entitlement leads to a feeling of superiority amongst the fan community. Uh, even though the concept has existed a long time prior, the first time you've seen it. Yeah. Fuck off! We're fucking pop up. Um, as we ran for any changes, bad. Uh, or they may refuse to acknowledge criticism, even though it's supported by reasonable arguments. Uh, okay, well, it's just, it seems quite general, um, I'm not seeing any specific examples, I'll, I'll copy the article, it's quite interesting, um, see ya Mactendo, um, but I'm not seeing, like, specifics about it being, um, something, unless Astrius, unless you can cite a, uh, a particular example, um okay. Ooh, a trailer was playing um okay so other toxic fandoms um there was that twitter thing that went around about higher fans that became a, 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 a joke so um twitter it was uh horizon they redid the female character there higher fans uh, everyone's making fun of this. Um, Ding dock. Okay. So the heroine looks too masculine. Oh, that reminds me of like Last of Us as well, right? So yeah, this fucking thing. Right? So. Suggesting that this. Can I get this bigger? Oh, I have to go on the guy's status. Do you. I don't want to give it the interaction. But there it is. So suggesting that this looks better than this. And it's like, hiya fans! Like, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. There are like, you know women come in different shapes, right? They're not all this fucking cookie cutter, right? Um, ah, Aaron, you dropped a draft. And he gets some fresh air. Fair enough. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron. I will check that out after the stream. Um, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, so, yeah. No, I mean, fuck this person. Absolute. And there's always a, like, <laughs> butt hurt people just can't take criticism. And then, like, beta male. Yeah, you see, you know that you know the, who you're talking to as soon as they start reverting to beta male. It's as if, like, the whole notion of alpha male, um, being a thing, higher fans, lol. The whole notion of um, uh, beta, uh, alpha males is from a study of a, a guided of wolves and studied packs and stuff. There was an alpha wolf that would guide the pack. Uh, he published this in a book. But then that author discovered that uh, he was wrong. He fucked up. He was absolutely wrong. Uh, wolf packs rotate leaders. Um, there is never one alpha male. There, there, there are several. They, they rotate. They basically take turns leading the pack. So um, there is no alpha male. That's a myth. And so the man has spent the rest of his career trying to correct that earlier mistake. But that's taken off. And so you've got people going, you know, anyone who says like beta male cuck, you know, like they're talking absolute horseshit. They've lost the argument. Um, yeah, so yeah. Yeah, I, I want to play Horizon Zero Dawn, Astrius. I do have it. It was lent to me, but I I, I, I don't, I just don't get tired of these video games because I, I don't reward myself with fun. Um, I, I do want to play it. So, uh, I wonder if, yeah, so like you span bit spawn parodies where people do the same sort of thing. Higher fans, higher fans. So yes, there we go. So we've got um, Last of Us as well. Which is, uh, having the character criticized to be too masculine. Even though it's like literally based on a woman. Like they've got like body actors to perform um, as the characters. They're voiced differently, but they are like... Yeah, you know, rotoscoped or, or whatever it is. Yeah, you know, they're, they're scanned in. Um, oh, there we go. Jack Sane. That was the guy I was trying to remember earlier. <laughs> Jack Sane. Uh, that was the person I was trying to... That's the guy who made um, the video about CGI videos. I'd probably recommend it. Um, so... 
A bunch of betas doesn't equal an alpha, it's a mob. Uh, no? <laughs> no? <laughs> Just people. Just a group of people. The point is, there is no alpha. People take turns taking charge. That's the point. Um, well, in wolf packs, at least. You know, so that's just unapplicable to humans. People just hang out. Um, all right, so... Oh, of course, the fucking anti-Semitic thing had to get in there. Fucking hell. All right, so yeah, there's... Okay, that's the director of the game citing, yeah, look, this is just some of the abuse we fucking get. Okay, fun, fun. This is a. Ooh, all right, so I'll grab that anyway. Uh, all right, so I got the higher fans. Um, let's scroll back. So, okay. Um, what are other examples of toxic fandoms? Uh, like you could argue like the Sonic the Hedgehog trailer spawned a toxic reaction, but like. I don't know, again, I felt that like was kind of merited because the design was ugly, and they did change it, and the food was good, so... Uh... But, uh, what are, what are some other examples of Toxic Fandom? Okay, I, maybe I'll just search for Toxic Fandom. Toxic Fandom. But it's just gonna give me Star Wars. <laughs> I just, that's just, just gonna give me Star Wars. Um... What? Toxic Fandom, what creates it? most difficult to defend fandoms um the uh oh there was the rick and morty stuff right um yeah rick morty uh like um you have to be intelligent i think you remember it was something like there's some yeah was, was it this? There, were those. there was like some some post about you have to be intelligent. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this one there's something to do with intelligence. What's this now? Oh god, the sexual source. Oh lord. Oh god. That boy, thank you for oh, the four twenty. Up. Thank you, that boy, for the four twenty. That's very sweet of you. Thank you very much. Um And what a time, just that, that four twenty for the source because Ooh. Ooh wee, what a time. So yeah. There is Rick and Morty. The source. Uh ooh, that's a long post. That's a look what this says. Uh ooh, and then go back. Uh to be fair, you have to have a very Ah, oh, okay, it's, it is the post. Uh you have to have a very high IQ. That's it! Have a, a very high IQ. Uh Rick, Morty, very high IQ. Alright. Yes, where does it come from? It's a meme. Where does it come from? Um, it's a copy pasta. The fans and detractors use sarcastically to respond to criticism. The next bit being the originally posted sincerely um, in the self -directed. Okay, so it comes from a Reddit post. Uh, it's the only known version of the. Fuck off with the ads. Jesus. Uh, there's the only known variation copy past in the comment section of Fringe Anarchy. Um, enter the entire text within a month to receive posts. Uh, within the thread, another editor cre comment credits a Instagram comment on h 3 h 3 as the source. Right. Okay. Uh, features two men with a chicken nugget. That's Justin Voiland and H3H3. H3, I forgot his name. Uh, so it, it credits that post. Uh, 
Then. Hey, girl. Oh, it's me. I'm doing the dance. You know, we're here in the club. Doing it's power dances. pop girls as well. I mean, ooh. So there I am with a lovely girl. She means everything she oh, means okay. the world. I'm making these lyrics up on the spot when all so of the So I think like people started to just copy and paste it sarcastically um, to go to reactions, I think. Again, because that would be really bad. All right, so high IQ. Uh, is that, is high that IQ. Shit myself? All right, we got Rick and Morty in there. Just love a fan myself. Is that is that a bar or did I simply uh, shit myself? I it, really hope oh, musicians. Bar I don't know. Zack Schneider fans? I guess. So there's now brown stuff I mean, the, there's just like. And I, don't know what I don't know if it's necessarily a toxic fan. I think they just like are new fans or like. We'll like out of my legs are afraid, I guess, to like necessarily oh criticize the films because, like, it's I guess it's like an investment thing, right? You know, you're invested in the films he's made so far, especially the DC stuff. So you don't want to be like, you don't want to have to like que to question the film's quality is to question yourself, and people don't necessarily want to do that. So, um, so I don't know necessarily if Snack Snyder fans are a toxic fandom. Um, more so that they are just like, just defensive, I guess. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I haven't been on the attack. I haven't made a video that like attacks Zack Snyder movies, so I've not been on the receiving end of the fan, to put it that way. Uh, the low gang. Christ. Uh, hmm. PewDiePie, Star Wars. Elon Musk, of course. Fucking hell. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, you know, Bitcoins are fucking destroying the environment whilst he pisses himself in space or something, but like, yeah. Uh, well, anyway. Yeah, I don't know. I need, I need more, like, Examples that have perm yeah, there's this there's, there's just fans being shitty people, but there's like the ones that permeate outside of the fandom and receive like news and stuff. So toxic fandoms again. Um, let's search for the images and see what we get. This is gonna for this could become heroin. Uh, online bullying. Oh, Pete Davidson, online bullying in the name of your favorite son. Uh, Okay. Oh, I guess because he broke up with Ariana Grande. Um, John Matt. The worst. The worst fan base. All right. Let's look at this. Can I zoom? Me zoom? So, Disney, Hamilton, DC, PewDiePie, Gilmore Girls, Harry Potter, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones and EDM has a toxic fandom? Uh, I'm scanning for the rest of these and nothing's really jumping out. The rest of developed Minecraft? Uh, Mario? Is there really a toxic fandom for Mario? Turn the music down. I can do that. That better? Let me know. Um, yeah, Doctor Who, Breaking Bad, Rick and Morty, Nolan Brothers, Survivor, <laughs> and then Big Bang Theory, Minions, Pokemon, Timber, uh, Smash Brothers, Smash Brother fans. Um, I'm trying to think of like examples within yeah gamers certainly um but like i'm trying to think of specific, um bts fans oh the the k-pop fans um yeah that's that's certainly like that's certainly like a mob isn't it um yeah i guess i don't really i, got, I guess i don't really mean a mob you know i mean like ones that like Claim ownership over the IP because of their dedication to it, and therefore become you know, hideously uh, toxic in, in other ways. Um, 
how are you feeling after the vaccine? Uh, Bob's special tool asks. So far, so good. I've been I'm hot, but like I don't know if that's just because it's hot uh, or what. But uh, I have two fans. You can't see them, but I have two fans. Uh, I don't know if either of them are toxic, but uh, so far, so good. Um, so yes. Uh, sword and shield. That did get quite ugly, didn't it? Which vaccine did you get? I got Pfizer. Um, because I'm the best. Let's just really skim through the rest. Pokemon, uh, Tim Burton. Tim Burton? Does Tim Burton have a toxic fandom? I mean, there are like, you know, again, just hardcore Tim Burton fans. But I don't remember them being particularly shithead. Uh, Kubrick, Final Fantasy, Kanye, The Room, WWE, Tim and Eric, uh, Real Housewives, that's hard to read, Sonic, Supernatural, Radiohead, um, Star Trek, Smosh, uh, Fortnite, Parks and Rec, all this. Um, yeah, none of these are really jumping out at me as being anything, but, uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield, uh, Pokemon Sword, Sword Toxic, it's probably just going to give me to yeah, it's going to give me toxic type Pokemon, damn it. <laughs> um, toxic fandom. Uh, let's see. It's from Toxic over Sword and Shield. Let's have a look. I do love that. I love the steam pipe hat coffin. Um... So, every Pokemon post on social media being barraged with negativity. Pokemon subreddit. Um, yeah, so Dexit about the Pokedex not having all the Pokemon in it. Um, uh, oh, lashing out, death threats. Yeah, so there's like a lot of like. Oh, okay. So, stand by Cerebi. Uh, what's up? Somebody who's been receiving in of both before and last night. Uh, right. So people who are like, hey, yo, maybe don't um, fucking attack the game developers. You know, they did what they did. And then, like, they attacked him instead. Which is cool. Um, Alright, I mean, yeah, I guess I'll drop it as, a, as an example. But, yeah, I, I guess I need something like, um, you know, Star Wars rewrite level of, like, permeating mainstream as being a toxic fandom. Why the fuck is Wonder Park in here? Um, so, yeah, so Steven Universe popping up. Uh, I think that came out in the form of like, um, that came out in the form of like uh, fan art, right? Where people were attacking one another over fan art being right or wrong, right? Um, Muse and Radiohead, they claim ownership of the band's material. Right. So, yeah, there's like, you know, being like, you can't criticize. I've seen it with like, I think Kanye released an album and the fan, and there was a, a fandom that were like, this album's shit. And the other ones were like, how dare you say it's shit? If you're a fan, you'd be a fan of regardless. Meaning, like, oh, you can't criticize it. Unless you're a true fan. I wonder if I could find that. A uh, Kanye uh, haters true fan, I guess. Um, let's see. What album was it? It was. It was okay. What Kanye? I need to look up Kanye albums. This is where I'm at. This is what. This is the thing I'm doing. Um. Where is it, Pablo? 
Uh, it's the one with like hmm, the music videos came on a motorbike. I could have swore. He's he's got a lot of albums. Um, I guess it was Pablo. Was it Pablo? Uh. What it was another one. It's like somebody's name. I seem to remember. And it was just really weird, bad. I I, I just remember the music video being Kanye on a motorbike with, 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 with Kim Kardashian driving around on the end of it. Um. I mean, I guess I'll go Pablo. So Kanye, Pablo. A uh, true fan. Um, no, I, I may have seen it as a tweet, which is like a fucking forever ago. So, okay, I, I doubt I'll find that again. Um, what's this, Akamina? Uh, let's stop pretending abusive fans are passionate. Uh, Call of Duty. Uh, ah, of course. So, swatting. Um, yes, of course, of course. Um, thank you, Akamina. Um, who responded furious transphobic backlash against Baldur's Gate? Uh, yeah, oh, got a raid. Hey, 64 bits. Thank you for the raid. How's it going? Ah, oh, well, thank you, and hello, gang. How's it going, everyone? Uh, for those of you who don't know, my name is Ed Ake. Um, I do videos about cartoons and uh, movies and stuff that I like in general geek culture. And right now, we're looking at toxic fandoms. A really fun and spicy topic. I'm doing good, 64. I'm doing good. How, how, have, you, how have you been? Uh, uh, we're looking at uh, toxic fandoms who swat one another with, like, yeah, you know, dialing on the uh, the police to get people to raid people's houses and stuff. Um, and we've already covered like Rick and Morty, Sashuan Sauce uh, types. Uh, so yeah, this is a good article. It's got like lots of good examples in here. Um, we'll grab that too. Uh, oh, it is Neils. Good. How's it going? Yeah, I remember you, Neils. I remember you. We should have to meet up again one day when the world isn't on fire. <laughs> oh, I do I do miss Suited. Suited was like one of my first like like breakout voiceover roles for something that wasn't also made by me. Um and I got to voice lots of characters in that as well, and that was just an absolute joy to do. Um so uh but I'm happy to see how well you guys have been doing since. You know, I keep seeing your your, you know, your videos trending and, and pop up in places. So um, you've gone on to greater things. Uh, okay, so, all right. We've got swatting and stuff. What else have we got? Uh, toxic fandoms don't exist. Mm -mm. I don't think I'll... What's this? we got another bad toxic fandom. I can't see shit. Okay, I'm gonna... Yeah, let's bet on that. It's, it seems to be mostly the same stuff. Like, Chapo Trap House? Is that... I've never heard of it. Let alone know the fandom of it. Um, so... What do we got? Ooh, that's a fun meal. Uh, mm, ponies. Ponies. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay. There's a ranking here that ranks the toxic fandom and uh, Overwatch and Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, uh, yes, I am still working with Tom a lot. It's kind of my uh, outside of headache stuff. It's my main gig. Um, 
Oh, and you have a, a meeting. Enjoy. Enjoy that meeting. I hope it is uh, constructive and uh, it leads to something. Um, I've been in too many meetings. That's just been a bloody waste of time. So <laughs> I hope it's not that kind. Has been. Has been hotel. That's an interesting example. I could have. Hmm. I don't know if it has. I mean, yes, it definitely has. Obviously, it's that's the thing obviously anything that has a big fandom will have a toxic fandom um but it's more like when that toxic fandom breaches and becomes like like you know mainstream news that's the that's the shit um that's the shit i'm after all right take care take on take care news thank you for thank you for the raid again um so, uh, pony. Yeah, is there brony stuff? Is there brony stuff that has, like, breached mainstream? Hmm. I mean, there's generally furries, you know, like the, the, yeah, the, 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 the horror stories of, like, uh, piss parties, that kind of thing. But, like, obviously, that's, like, that's, like, a, that's, like, one instance of like a handful of people in one event but that's immediately you know like marred the rest of the rest of them and stuff so um yeah marvel hmm. i feel like dc fans are probably more toxic than marvel fans just to throw some spice and tea out there um but uh yeah it's still not still not quite what i am after um Bad, bad yeah the bible yeah the bible <laughs> yeah yeah that's got some pretty toxic fans um so what else have we got uh wow it's really starting to deviate from helpful images uh yeah so this guy is captain marvel but i don't ever think that like that was a toxic fandom i feel like that was just toxic people full stop like i feel like the people who are really like coming after brie larson weren't especially marvel fans anyway but it was like their gotcha you're like aha you know here's someone that no one likes um uh, i'm not dumb i just like nice things that make me happy at least i don't want to fight and be mean all the time like some people yeah. <laughs> um, the obvious answer is predictable. It is true. It is true. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Wow. Star Wars really has the like the the lump sum of toxic fandoms. Really, the ones that, as I say, breach mainstream, that affect people's lives. Um. Like Gamer Gay, I don't even think Gamer Gay. I don't think you could say Gamer Gate was a toxic fandom. They were just like, they weren't even really a fandom. They were just like, out for, out for blood, really, to ruin women's lives. So, okay, what's this? My, oh, it's fucking small. No, um, <laughs> okay, we. Nothing, nothing's helpful in here. All right, let's move, move up. Um, let's see. I made the internet vote on the worst fan base. Did, did we already look at this article? Um, oh, my God. No. Okay. Close. Fucking hell. All right. Homestuck. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know. I feel like it's like I need to have heard. If it's permeated mainstream, then I probably have heard of it. I think that's the idea. Unless I just forgot. Um, all right. We got lots of pie charts. Happy, happy pie charts. I just want, I think if I can just get one more example, one more good example, then I'm like, I can call it done. Can I just have like your fucking last result please uh pewdiepie pewdiepie wins with the most toxic fan okay doesn't help doesn't really help me what i'm actually after um 
online bullying in the name of your favorite stars. Uh, so yeah, okay, so it's Pete Davidson quitting Instagram. Um, hmm. Okay. Yeah, Star Wars. Okay, so there are other examples of like, yeah, Nicki Minaj, Lady Gaga. Uh, the Swifties. Oh, Taylor Swift fans. Right. Uh, okay, well, that's a nice toxic fandom article. That could be included in my list here. But, um... Not necessarily one particular list. Um... Justice League to Star Wars, our fandom. Oh, I guess there is just the general existence of the Schneider Cut, right? Um, Ghostbusters, of course. I mean, actually, no. I don't know if that's necessarily toxic fandom because I think that was just toxic people in general, right? Maybe. Ooh. Yeah, I guess go. I get, but then uh, then Captain Marvel would fall under that too. Um, hmm. Yeah, Ghostbusters is good. Um, what else have we got? Uh, Yeah, nothing else really. I mean, I, again, I'll save the article to double check later. But... Um, what else have we got? Fandom's out of control. How movie studios deal with toxic fandom? Uh, what's that video? Last Jedi. Yeah, it's all the same stuff. It's always Star Wars. Snyderverse. So, yeah, the Schneider cut to an extent. Um, fundamentals. Fans who finally believe the only interpretation of any entertainment is a dogmatic adherence to their favourite version of the source. Um, sure. I guess there is the um, the reaction to Rashford um, and the other two guys, the racial hatred they got. Um, yeah, so I guess that would be true. That, yeah, I mean, that's just I feel that's like racism, really. But <laughs> um, so uh, 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 Rashford. Saka, Saka, and Sanchez. Saka and Sanchez. Is that right? Yeah. Um, racial abuse. Yeah. Yeah. Good shout with the sports. Um, yeah. Fo I think yeah. Football in general just has a lot of. Toxicity. Drag Race has a toxic fandom. I'll take your word for it, but uh, <laughs> I've never seen Drag Race, so I'm, I'm unaware of the toxic fandom of it. Um, okay, well, you know what? I think I do have quite a, you know, quite a handsome bunch of examples here. Um, and um, Louis Hamilton has had racism against him? Oh. Um... Okay, I didn't I did know that, that, that. Yeah, that fucking sucks. Um, 
I've mixed feelings on Lewis Hamilton. Not that anyone deserves racial hatred. That's all. You know, that's just fucking. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's obvious. But um, Lewis Hamilton did like um, transphobic stuff. I recall, and it's like that. Mm, that mm, that's not to say he deserves racial abuse. Fuck no. But like, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I'd, I think I'd rather avoid just mentioning Lewis Hamilton. Um, I don't, give, I don't give any semblance of a spotlight to him. Um, because I'm not certain he's necessarily a good a good person. Um, but I, I mean, I got I feel like I got, you know, some racial hatred covered with John Viega and um, footballers as well. Um, okay. Okay, I think I do have a, quite a few examples here, I think. Um, but uh, cool. Alrighty, so. I think we're done. I think we're done for the day. Uh, I still feel alright. Um, I'm hoping that maybe I might sleep through um, the side effects of the vaccine. So, yeah, hopefully, yeah, ho hopefully I won't be hit too hard by it. Um, but, yeah, let me stop the music actually. It's all nice and atmospheric and all, but uh, I think it's time to go. Uh, is there anyone to raid? Not to stress you. I mean, there is Mr. Weeble. I'm sure Mr. Weeble would always appreciate a handsome, a handsome raid, given that uh, uh, he's recently done some title cards for me. Um, so for my upcoming video, so next week's video is about Shrek, and he has made me some Shrek themed title cards for me. Uh, and then uh, next week, um, the, the the following week, I mean, uh, will be another video. Which I won't say what that's about yet, but it's a video that will happen, and uh, I'm quite excited by it. So cool. Um, so second dose side effects aren't too bad. Experience oh no. Uh, hopefully you'll be the case. But yeah, hopefully I'll be all right. I mean, I felt as I said at the start, I felt nothing with the first shot, but the second shot knocked me out. So no, wait, I haven't. Had, the first shot. It, generally people are fine the second shot is the one that knocks people out so now i've had my second shot i'm waiting for that part to happen to me but it hasn't happened yet uh oh my balls smell like new shoes oh boy that makes it that makes a nice change <laughs> anyway let's go raid mr weeble i'm gonna uh i'm gonna start a raid so yeah head on over gang and uh let's let us let us Come on, goblins, let's raid Mr. Weeble. Here we go. Uh, bloody boom. And if you are still here, then thank you very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.